hey guys welcome to the very first video of javascript oops under the hood and in this video we are going to talk about this series and the uh, prototypal nature of javascript and how does this nature of javascript helps it to become an uh, object oriented uh, language so uh, if you are not aware of how a uh, prototype uh, works under javascript then this is a very video you need and uh, prototypes are a very, very very important uh, concept in javascript and they are even asked frequently uh, in interviews uh, without wasting any time let's get started so uh, let us look at the code snippet we are uh, creating a um, object uh, my object with a property uh, channel name and a value js cafe in the next line we are logging the property channel name and in next line we are calling a has own property function which we'll see uh, how it is coming and the next line we are creating a function name as my function and we are logging our welcome cafe fine in the next line we are doing something very strange that is we are assigning a property color to a function okay and in the next line we are calling my function in the very next line we are logging out the property color of my function and the very next line we are somehow uh, calling a two string function on my function and in the very next line we are calling has own property which we called on the line four okay so we'll look into how 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 this thing is happening and uh, let us start by creating a global memory so global memory is nothing but just a space of memory in browser or js engine where uh, javascript stores uh, variables and functions so let's name it as global memory okay so uh, when javascript scans through the whole code and it uh, stores uh, objects and functions uh, in the global memory so uh, on scanning javascript found that we created a, an object labeled as my object so we'll store it my object and it is having a property named as channel name okay With the value of js cafe fine okay and the next line we are like uh, having a function my function so javascript will also store this just clear this doing my function which is a function so we will be uh, representing functions like this so javascript basically uh, uh, copies the whole thing that is inside the curly braces from lines uh, 7 to line 9 uh, in and copy it as it is in the memory block so this is that thing okay and let's uh, start uh, executing our things so we are doing something known as we are doing something object uh, my object and by the way this is all happening in the execution context so i am uh, not uh, making that so we are doing my object dot channel name so uh, we we do the search process javascript does the search pro process when it executes a line uh, javascript looks for the uh, label my object in the global memory it finds it and uh, when we are using a dot it means we are trying to access some properties of an object javascript goes to the global memory uh, goes to the object part of this label and finds the channel name and it uh, logs it out on the console pretty simple very straightforward nothing much the next line uh, is uh, pretty interesting to us that is we are doing a my object dot has own property
we are doing my object or as as on property channel name so what is happening over here like we haven't even uh defined any has own property function in the my object and how is it able to find this function and is able is returning true so uh, whenever this uh, js engine engine kicks uh, in our browser one thing javascript does is that it creates a function named as object uh, in the global memory and this is just not a function but a com uh, but a uh, bundle of a uh, function and object so what i mean by that is we will having will be having a object which is a function on and this is also an object and javascript by default adds a property uh, named as prototype which is again an object and in this object uh, we are having property uh, named as has own property which is a function and some other bunch of properties like uh, to local string which is also a function and javascript by default also adds to every object one more property that is underscore underscore proto and this will point for object for this particular function labeled as object this proto points to null okay we'll see that why okay pretty pretty much okay now what we are doing is we are now let's uh and uh, yeah one more thing so when this javascript is running as i have told that javascript adds a proto uh, property to and to every object so we have also created an object uh, named as my object so we uh, javascript by default adds a proto property to it as well and can you guess uh, what this uh, proto will point to so this proto will be pointing to the prototype of this object function the prototype property uh, i'll say uh it would it's better to say uh it is pointing to the prototype property of the op, uh function labeled as object okay now uh we have this uh, thing set up over here now let's uh, run it all over again javascript uh runs um, goes to uh goes to execution context run this line it looks for my object uh, in the global memory it finds it it's look for the property has one property it doesn't find it now that part is uh, javascript doesn't stops uh, looking for properties uh, if it doesn't find uh, in that particular object instead it will uh, start uh, referencing to the proto property and uh, this proto property is leading us to the prototype object of the function uh, labeled as object and javascript when reaches here and it searches this prototype and in this prototype we found uh, a has one property javascript executes it so this this was a very uh, small uh, prototype chain uh, that uh, happened over here um, okay so up till now we have looked everything related to my object and now uh, we'll look into my function so as you can see on line uh, 
tenth we are doing my function dot color equals to red. I think this might be clear to you now because um ob we are we have done uh, this with object function like object being a function uh, it also has uh, it, it is also an object which uh, is having a property of prototype. So whenever it, uh, a function is created in JavaScript, uh, it is just not a function, but it is a bundle of function and object both. So over here, let us uh, write the uh, object part of my function. There we go. And in this particular uh, object, we are uh, uh, defining a property name as color and we are storing the value as red. Okay. Good. Color. And we are storing it as red. Okay. Fine. And we are, as I have told earlier, that object uh, in javascript is having by default one more property that is a uh, proto and we will see uh, what this proto is pointing to but for now um, we have to focus on the part where uh, uh, javascript also uh, creates one more function named as a uh, name labeled as function and which is uh, a bundle of function and object as well and in this object part we are having prototype which uh, is an object okay having some properties uh, like to string this is a function we have call also a function we are having apply this is a function and call apply bind and we are also having a proto which will point to somewhere and we will see where so this uh, the proto of this uh, function labeled as function points to the prototype of the object of to the prototype of this function labeled as object so let us uh, mark our lines Here we go and we also left uh, this proto so uh, since this my function is a function and uh, we are having this object properties as well so the proto of this my function will point to the prototype of this function label as my function instead of uh, the function labeled as object had this my function been an uh, object then by default the proto would have pointed to this prototype but since our my function is a function uh, we have uh, is a function so the proto will point to the prototype of this function uh, labeled as a function so let us uh, make our lines and i think it so let's run uh, the uh, code which is uh, my function dot to string function to string so my function dot to string javascript will look for my function in the global memory it finds it it uh, looks for to string in the object part of this uh, function and object bundle it doesn't finds the to string property it looks to the proto it goes all the way down to the prototype of this function labeled as a function it finds a to string and it executes it so this is uh, like one part of the chain and if we try to execute the next line that is 
uh, my function dot has own property and we pass color uh, okay now javascript uh, goes to the global memory looks for uh, my function uh, it uh, it finds uh, it finds over here uh, and it goes to the object part of this my function because we are using a dot and it looks for the property has one property it doesn't find it it's go go to the goes to the proto and it by proto it reaches to the prototype of this uh, function labeled as function in this prototype object uh, it searches for uh, the has one property it doesn't finds it then again it goes to the proto uh, property and this proto property takes javascript up to the function label as object and in this particular uh, prototype object we have a has one property so javascript finds uh, this has one property execute it, executes it so this was the uh, overall uh, prototype chain uh, in javascript and we will be using this extensively um in the upcoming videos and this is a very important uh topic of the interviews uh they ask like uh, uh, explain the prototypal nature of javascript and i think this is a very good example for you to present uh, uh in the interviews and this is a great concept so uh, yeah that was all uh for this video and um, see you in the next one